Uh, welcome to Lido Berlin, where I have uh, Anke von Kiersbergen with me. Uh, let's start with War. Uh, how, does the, how did this band come to be in the first place? You know, Fur, we indeed only exist for two years now. We have one album. Um, I wanted for a long time to uh, uh, start a uh, heavy band. So I want to make a heavy metal, progressive metal album. But never had really the people... Funnily enough, because I'm in metal scene, but I never had the people around me to do that with. And when I was working with Arjen Lukasse for the Gentle Storm, we put this live band together just for the sake of touring for a year with the Gentle Storm album. And they turned out to be so fantastic. So then I thought, if I want to make a heavy album, I should go with them. And they pretty much all said yes when I asked, like, will you go with me and do some new bands? And... Here we are, man. It's I'm really proud of it. You know, we're touring and we have this really cool album, if I can say so myself. I'm really proud of it. And uh, the guys are great and it's going well. Uh, okay, yeah, you have accomplished so much in your career and, and done so much different things. Uh, in your mind, how did you build your career? Was it like, uh, did you go with your emotions to from thing to thing, or did you plan meticulously about everything? Yeah, not at all. No, I the first is uh, actually um, the truth. I I very how do you say? Mm, I follow my feeling, and uh, and a lot of things that come on my path I just have a feeling about like this is gonna work for me or this is going to be very nice creatively I can grow with this I can learn from this I can have fun with this I can um, so any of those things are important to me and uh, from you know also the moment that that I was in the gathering for instance I thought they are really really nice bunch of guys they make beautiful music if I am part of this that would be fantastic and then that's the thing and I didn't know it's gonna be big um, but also after gathering I just follow my guts and uh, try to use my head <laughs> it should be a balance you know but I, d I do follow my gut a lot yeah okay and uh, how did you end up with all these bands uh, for example the gathering how did how, how does that happen yeah well, that's actually um, we, we had a mutual friend and he was talking to me about the gathering all the time. I didn't know the band. Um, and he said, you have to check it out. They're so good. And they, they made this album always. And then they made this album Almost a Dance, which was also really great. And then they were looking for a singer. And then our mutual friend says, you have to try to get in the band. So I auditioned and I got the job. There you go. And then I did that for 13 years with a lot of love and pride. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to Wur and your latest album you already mentioned, uh, In This Moment We Are Free Cities. So what can you tell me about that album and uh, please tell me something nobody else knows yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it's pretty straightforward, actually. No big secrets, no weird stuff, sorry. I I wanted this for a long time and I did it with these cool people, with these awesome people. I worked together with Joost van den Broek, our producer. We wrote together, he produced, mixed the album. And it's exactly what I wanted to make. You know, a guitar-oriented, heavy, progressive album. And a lot of people think, okay, I'm gonna make making a heavy album. That's, that should be like The Gathering 2.0 or whatever. But it's not. And uh, I will say this, a lot of people uh, anticipated something else from this and are uh, they have to get used to this sound because it's mm, heavier it's guitar oriented it's it's very a uh, prickly album it's very how do you say it has a more modern sound and um, uh, yeah so I have to say that people have to get acquainted to the sound and that it's not going as fast as I would like it. You know what I mean? So there's also people in metal and progressive scene who think, oh, that's Annika of the Gathering and of, you know, a certain style of music. And they don't really take a chance to listen to it because they think it's like female fronted or, you know, whatever that that's all about. Um, so sometimes I feel like 
we fall in between categories. And I have to work really, really hard to, to get our sound across, to get people to notice our, our new band, uh, which is going well, just slower than I expected. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, you have done a lot of music on your career, and uh, but uh, if you would have to choose uh, which albums or which pieces of music uh, touched yourself the most over the years, the stuff I I did myself or yes, yes. other people's, uh, hmm, yeah, yeah, that's a good question. I I really I really love Devin Townsend's music, so. Whenever I work with him, I am I'm very very happy. It makes me happy. I learn from him. I learn about vocals. I learn about recording. I learn about playing live. I learn about music in general. I learn about life. We talk a lot as well. So working with uh, Devin is uh, very important to me. And and um, his music, uh, I listen to it all the time. In, in any stage of my life, I, I listen to his music, so he always comes back to me uh, in my life, you know. And so, for instance, that Transcendence album is 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 one of the albums uh, to answer your questions that I uh, that I particularly proud of and uh, that I feel very uh, much uh, part of. And I uh, I love this music so much, and I can't believe I'm on it, you know. So I listen to this album not because I'm on it, but because I just love it so much. Yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, I heard that uh, somewhere that Wur would be uh, touring the whole year 2018. Is this correct? And um, how is it possible for the starters? <laughs> for for starters, you mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, maybe it's just my whole story just now to you about me thinking I'm going very slow. The other side is we do get to tour all year. That's true. That's true. So I'm half happy with that. But we do tour uh, until the end of the year. We always also started writing for a new album. That should be done by the end of the year as well. So to keep the train going, we want to release next year a new album. So we write and we tour throughout 18 and uh, a little bit of 19 as well we we uh, too so there's uh, there's some things uh, coming up uh, that are not online yet but we are we are filling up 18 with tours and gigs yeah okay and how is it to tour with this band it's very good the guys are great is very good musicians and also a very good bunch of people i think it's very important to 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 be you know you ha- you are a little family right and um, it's very important to have people in the band who understand you, who understand each other, who are like family, who respect and love each other. Because if it's not nice, if you don't have a good collection of com- constellation of people around you, then I'd rather be home on the couch with my family, right? So, so it has to mean something. It has to it has to go somewhere if you're on tour for so long and for so many. Uh, weeks out of the year um, other than the music it should mean something and this band and also the crew is 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 wonderful okay um, uh, at the moment uh, I'm thinking of the the 25th anniversary gig of uh, gathering yeah. with all the singers so that must have been a big night mm-hmm. but uh, for yourself uh, what had been the best gigs of your career, whole career. I, I know this is a <laughs> tough question, but uh, yes. is there some some like really memorable gigs that you don't forget? Well, the, there are, like there was so many different kind of gigs, right? So I've once played for the Dalai Lama, for instance, like that you never forget. That was just so beautiful and and powerful. Uh, so that was something completely different than a rock and roll gig or whatever. But uh, also, for instance, with the gathering, the first time we were on Dynamo Open Air in Holland, which was a very, very big addition with like 60,000 visitors. And we were like, we were young and we didn't care. We just made music and we were there on the big stage. Is This is one of the festivals I used to visit when I was younger. And then to be there in your young age and play on the big stage is... It's something you never forget. And then afterwards, you play the big stages and you do a lot of 
things. But this kind of these are kind of pinnacles, you know, that you remember like, holy shit, I'm, you know, doing this festival which I love so much. So those kind of things that that stick by me very much. And, and uh, yeah, but also, you know, I take a lot, a lot of comfort and a lot of um, uh, fun out of playing, for instance, on my own with the acoustic guitar in a small venue where people are just uh, on your lip, we say in Holland, like very close. And you talk a little bit and you crack a few jokes and you sing a few songs, uh, which makes that very personal thing. So. I love all the different things and I love the huge stages and a lot of energy and the heavy metal and everything. And I love to be, you know, very personal and intimate and, but it's all about music, you know, and it's all about sharing. I'm a fucking hippie. <laughs> okay, and uh, for the beautiful end, uh, what about the future, uh, war or otherwise? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what's, it, what's in the plans for, you know, 2018 and all the way? <laughs> some some year. Yeah, well, I hope uh, uh, still a lot of gigging. Well, I know a lot of gigging with Vuur, a new album with Vuur. Uh, I'm doing some solo stuff uh, on my own, uh, especially in Holland. I do uh, some theater work in 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 19. Um, but other than that, my focus is really, really very much on on Vuur because I I want to, you know this not to be a project but a band, and to to continue and to establish and. And and I love it, you know, I love the music that we are creating and it's going to be even better. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to grow, you know, uh, be more in depth as well. And so I'm very focused on that. And in the meantime, loving this tour and loving the gigs and just playing live. You know, I didn't play live for a while because we were recording, writing for this album. And I really focused on it. So I said, okay, no tours at the moment, because usually that goes kind of you know that kind of overlaps but then i've started missing touring playing live so much and it made me uh very cranky <laughs> so i'm happy to be out on the road so yeah here we go okay and for the bonus question uh i had it on good authority that you might be getting a new tattoo here in berlin so <laughs> what's in the plans I'm not sure yet. I hope we find somebody good, because like you said, uh, everybody who's really good has a, like a waiting list of a year, and I and I know. But who knows? Maybe tomorrow we have a day off, so we'll take a walk and and find out some stuff. And who knows? I'm ending up with a new tattoo, just a small one, like a tour tattoo, you know, something small to remember these days by. I'm sure some of them will let you skip a line, but, uh, but <laughs> thank you so much. And, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Break a leg tonight. <laughs> Thanks.